Hello, how's it going? This is my Minecraft project. This is my lesson plan with a structure that I've created. Uh, we are I've already loaded it in. We can go ahead and go take a look. So here's my structure. It's meant to be themed like a castle so I can go around our castle. So this castle is filled with various rooms and inside these various rooms are different puzzles and tutorials. Students will go through that teach them all about circuits, redstone, and creating logic gates within Minecraft. So this is the structure that it's in. Every student will load this up and they will enter. Uh, upon entering the inside, we just have a little showcase of some of the things you can build, some of the objects. We have two small aquariums and students will continue on inside. So this is kind of our main central area that has uh, five total doors. Our go doors are color coded with difficulty. So our first one, we have green. We have three middle difficulties, which are these yellow. And then finally, we have their little formative assessment at the end, that is our red door. Um, again, decorated just to kind of keep the aesthetic of a castle. Uh, throughout the entire thing, there are signs that kind of have hints and tutorials with what to do. So our first door, it tells us to press this button, and this is our redstone tutorial for on and off. So we, we click our button, it opens the door. Let me wrap around to the side. Here's a showcase of redstone and how we can use level, levers to turn things on and off. Okay, so our first thing is levers can be placed on an object. So let's place a lever. lever on the block and this shows students that they can place levers on objects for on and off our up is going to be off on the letter levers down is on next small little tutorial uh, redstone torches used to power an object place a redstone torch below so here's a redstone torch if we place that beside that block it also will power it on so here's our power source here's our on and off switch Continuing redstone is like a wire. I can carry power. Use a redstone to redstone to create a wire and power it with a torch. So here you can see students can't access this, but if they place their wire and a torch at the end, we can power things at a distance, kind of like a, a, a wire. Um, now let's try with a lever. So let's do the same thing. We'll drag out our little wire, our redstone, place a torch, and here we can toggle it on and off at a distance. Continuing, I wanted to show students that um, redstone can go up blocks. So if I drag this down, uh, we can see that we can power that going up the stairs. Even though it's up a block, it can still be uh, powered. Same thing on this side. Uh, students will drag down their redstone and this time it says power this lamp and create a lever to turn it on and off. So same thing going up blocks uh, we can power it with a lever and we can toggle it on and off. Lastly let's try using a lever and redstone to open and close the door. So if I place some redstone in front of my door use a torch it powers on congrats or we could also use a lever that toggles that door on and off uh, at the end of this small little tutorial I want students to use the extra space in this room to build something using redstone so here they can be creative kind of create anything they want using our redstone um, our torches levers and anything else they want so that's our tutorial room. Okay, if we continue to our next room, we have our not gate room. So this room is all about learning about logic gates, and, and this particular gate is the not gate. So if we go inside here, we can see off here onto the right. Um, this will not be create, created, but uh, they will create it themselves. Use a lamp, redstone, lever, and a block. This is a normal on and off circuit. So again, here, this is a normal on and off circuit. 
Okay, when it's off, the block is off. When it's on, the block is on. So here, students are going to create their very first NOT gate. They're told and given a hint that they only need a lever, redstone, and redstone lamp. So a NOT gate works in the opposite way. Okay. The challenge, the object is on when the lever is set to off, and it's on when off, and off when on. So if we do the same thing as before, this is off when off, on when on, and students are figuring out they need to place this torch so that our lamp is on when the switch is off, but when we turn our switch off, it turns this, uh, turn the switch on, it turns our lamp off. Kind of opposite. Okay, same thing here. They're going to create a knot gate that can be used for this fountain. So if we do kind of what we did over there, you can see when my switch is off, my fountain runs. When I turn my switch on, the fountain turns off. So this is their tutorial on knot gates. After this, they'll continue uh, into this room, the or gates. So here, it's all about OR. So create an OR gate for the lamp. So here it kind of tells you what that means. OR gates, an object can be turned on from two or more places. If either lever is on, then the object will turn on. Off when both levers are off. So here they're looking at powering from se separate places. So we can use redstone and go from separate a few other places and we could do much students could do much more than two places but if I add levers to these this is an or because any of these if turned on will power up um, our lamp this is the or we can use this switch or this switch or this switch, or this switch to power it on. Um, finally, turn the window lights on using an OR gate. So over here, students will connect redstone, which has two different levers. Either one will turn on the lamps inside of the windows. Okay, so this is your OR gate tutorial. Our final room, uh, the, one of the more difficult is AND gates. Uh, now, AND gates use some uh, complicated mechanics. So here, uh, I kind of they aren't discovering it, but rather I showed them how to make one, and then they will use an AND gate and create a small structure in here, whatever they want. So the AND gate uses a comparator, uh, which has two modes, which can be switched on and off. When the front torch is on, it's in subtraction mode, and it subtracts one side of redstone from the rear redstone. Uh, if the front torch is off, it compares the sides. It looks to see that the sides and the rear are the same length. So here is their AND gate. In order for this lamp to turn on, both this lever and this lever must be on. If you see, if I only use one, it does not turn on. But if both are on the on position, it turns on. And so here it goes into a little bit of detail. This is subtraction mode because uh, the front lamp is on. The sides and rear all have length one. So how this is working is when these are off, the rear just puts in um, one power. When they're both off, the subtraction mode is turned off and it powers the back. Okay, so here we have a similar thing. This just is showing that the sides and rear must all be the same length. So here it works as well. Um, but this is dependent on these redstones being the same length. Here we have a length of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Those lengths must be the same or this AND gate is not going to work. For instance, if I were to add a couple redstones here, okay, it still works. However, if I make this shorter, 
Now it doesn't work. Okay, and finally they'll use this, what they've just learned about an AND gate, and they'll create their very own structure here. Uh, they can really do whatever they want. So once they have finished with all of their tutorials, they've done our redstone, they've done all three of their logic gates, they will ex exit the rear, and their final goal is they now are going to use their creativity to create a structure, whatever they want in this open area, that uses all three of the gates that they've just learned about. Um, after they've created it, they work in small groups, and in their small groups, they are sharing and discussing and brainstorming, talking about ways to improve, what things they, what, what they ran into that was difficult, and they're all looking at each other's structures. Uh, finally, what they'll submit is they will write a description of what they have made, how they've used it, and kind of write down what they talked about in their group. So this is my Minecraft project. It's kind of the bare bones. There's a lot I would like to do. Uh, saving this seed, making sure that uh, students can't destroy objects, keep it intact. But that is my Minecraft project. Thanks for watching.